conversations going on, but we want to get started to honor your time. So thanks for coming. This is our September meeting where we kind of reflect back on August and prepare for October. Thank y'all for coming. We're going to watch a video from our president, Mark King. Maybe. Hello, Keller Williams, Mark King, President of Keller Williams Realty International here to talk to you about September. Can you believe it? Three quarters of the year already in the books. So today we're going to talk about how to supercharge Q4 and all of 2024. Several things that we've launched recently I want to make you aware of. Number one, the new agent website, the fundamental key part of your business plan for 2024 should be maximizing your online traffic. Go check out our new agent sites. Number two, the buzzword that everybody's talking about that is a little confusing to our consumers is what kind of impact does artificial intelligence or AI have on the real estate industry? Well, we've written a playbook for you. Please check that out. It's all things artificial intelligence. Spoiler alert, it helps our jobs. When we, it helps us become faster and, and better at what we do, but it doesn't replace you as the fiduciary at the center of the transaction. So check out our AI playbooks. And last but not least, we released the MREA Playbook Series. It is a book of over 100 books, one. all on one page each, of agents performing at the highest level in the industry right now in these market conditions, and they're great models for you to follow for 2024. So if you're looking to supercharge Q4, get into bold. Hire a maps coach if you don't have one. So check out our playbooks and have an amazing fourth quarter, which will lead directly into your amazing 2024. Have an awesome September, everybody. We'll see you soon. All right, who's using AI? Come on, be proud. Raise your hand. For a couple of things. I am. Hello, Keller. Don't scare me. All right, so who's seen the AI playbook from Keller Williams? Two of you? Who wants to see it? Who knows where to find it? You. <laughs> I text that you. Mean, I mean, you know. I text you and I get it. Uh, out to you guys. Um, but all your playbooks can be found in command, right? In your KW Connect. Okay. Oh, I thought it was somewhere else. I knew that. Mm -mm. They're all in there. So if you need help navigating through that, who do you think you should reach out to? Yeah, I'm not saying me. <laughs> you Mark said and Peter Tech <laughs> We want, to, we want you guys to be resourceful. You have a lot of stuff, right, at your fingertips. It's just a matter of being resourceful enough to go look for it, right? There's a lot of things that KW provides that you all should be using and tapping into. So don't forget about that, okay? All right, so we're going to go over our mission to build careers worth having, businesses worth owning, lives worth living, experiences worth giving, and legacies worth leaving. Vision, to be the real estate company of choice for agents and their customers. Values, God, family, then business. All right, we're going to go through the beliefs. We got candy bars. We can switch later. <laughs> All right, who's ready to start us off? Win, winner, no deal. I want to no, help. that's too easy. That's not I got a candy bar boy. Start start start. She said who's ready, I was you ready. Good. good job. She's quick from the draw, ain't she? <laughs> I wouldn't want to go against her in one of those, what do they call these things? Quick draw. <laughs> <laughs> All right, next. Is that ready to do the right thing? Good job, Jeff. Love Ooh. it. All right. Customers always come first. And how we remember that is because the first C, customers always come first. first. Commitment in all things. So the next C. I mean, don't work. <laughs> next one. You're going to be loaded the up. Communication. The first to understand. That's right. That's all right. No. <laughs> Tony, tell me more about that. What does that mean to you? Um, listen before you respond. Truly understand what they're saying and um, be present. In the I think so many times we have our knee-jerk reactions, right? Um, and we, we need to work on that. All of us do, especially in this business too, right? Ask questions, learn, under, try to understand why they're saying what they're saying. I think so quick, we forget to do that. And I'm guilty of it. I know it's something I need to work on. Even interject them when they're even yeah. finished, or they even finished the sentence. Right. And sometimes we just need to listen, 
get their perspective. Why? But I like how you're smiling because you're like, yep, I need to work on this too. <laughs> yeah, clarity brings more. Oh, that's right. All right, next. Last one. Last C. No, uh, creativity. Oh, sorry. I didn't do this. Oh, left off. That one was more. Me. One more. Okay, there we go. One more. Creativity. Creativity. Yeah. All right. Good job, Mike. Right Look at these throwing out. skills today. I know. I know. She's she's all all day. Day. <laughs> <laughs> like, she like, she's She's got like tires in here. Because we have that much time on our hands. <laughs> all right, next. I it's always come first. It's teamwork and trust, really, but now. What? It's the wild four C, two T's. There's teams two T's. We're going to pretend like 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 we're going to See it. Everybody achieves more. Give it to Frasia. No, it's not. No, give it to Frasia. Give it to Trevi. I got teamwork. <laughs> then it's trustworthy. All right. Trust. It's trust with honesty. Trust starts with honesty. Trust starts with honesty. What do you have? All right, next. Equity. Equity for all. Equity. Opportunities for all. Oh, what is that? Ooh. What does that mean to you? What is equity? Money. Money. Everybody gets money. Everybody gets money. Okay. Get money. <laughs> okay. Hand out. Hand out. Hand out. Just saying. There's no right or wrong. It's her perspective, right? So, all right. Everybody gets money. Make it rain on them, Katie. <laughs> oh, no. she said. Go ahead. Oh. oh <laughs> Quickly draw. Success what? Oh, go ahead. Success. No, you're success. Yes, you got it. <laughs> <laughs> See how we work on these? What's yeah. It's okay. results for people. There you go. But you were showing it. I know. Oh, Shane, I showed you your candy. Look, can I go study? I'm going to study. Finally, we're going to Moderation. She's got four large candy bars. <laughs> She does have some kids. So. I know. I'm always a mom. We'll see if she cares. Yeah. All right. Perspective. No. Emma, I'm going to let you read this out. A technology company that provides the real estate platform that our agents, buyers, and sellers prefer. Keller Williams thinks like a top producer, acts like a trainer consultant, and focuses all its activities on service, productivity, and profitability. All right. So we just added this. This is something I, you know, Sharing our wins with one another, we can celebrate one another. This is something that I think we should do every meeting. So I would like to at least have two or three from the crowd share a win that you've experienced since our last team meeting. Maybe that's personal, professional, whatever. Share share a win with us. Just bought another investment. Very nice. Congratulations. Raise yes. his hand. Yeah, so I just finished my uh, final negotiations on my um, first million dollar listing. Nice. Very awesome, Frazier. Yes. Amazing. I was struggling since about June. I hadn't done anything. Continue to grind, get out there. And uh, just this, I guess this week, they don't have 700,000 to sales and then closed my first listing. Way to go. Oh, All right, showing up. That was three, will... but you got another one. I got another one. So I'm a day at make 21 or 75 hard for my second time. Nice. Hey. That's hard. Yeah, that 75 hard is hard. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Anybody else want to share? I got my first listing from database calls. Awesome. So what does that tell you Amy's now doing? Her database. Her database. Too. She's I, lead I, generating, right? And she's our number one agent here, and she's lead generating now. What does that tell you? We should all be doing it, right? Job. That would be me. I uploaded 3,200 contacts out of my phone, and I have four buyers that are at the lenders right now. That's and all awesome. you had to do was call them. Yeah. Simple, not easy. Awesome. Should have did it in moderation. Great job. Yeah. Okay, you're you're on the right path now. You're on the smart plans, and I'm catching up responding, or we are catching up responding. So. <laughs> Love it. All right. Great job, guys. Thank you for sharing your wins. All right.
our mortgage moment with our awesome Jonathan Sweat from Alcova. <laughs> you know, we've been twinning the past few months, and it's really awesome that we know what we're going to wear. Yeah. I like it. I wish I could get on that. I'm calling each other every morning about 6 a.m. Yeah. Um, all right. So I want to first say some thank yous. If you have not picked up on it in the last three months, you send us a business we close, you get a t-shirt the next month, just as a thank you. Um, it they're deluxe yeah. and they're it, soft. It does not meet the products whatsoever, so no reporting this to our compliance department. <laughs> but um, thank you to the pulling team. Um, Y'all can pick up the shirt in my office. But the pulling team, thank you. Um, pick up the shirt. Frazier and his team pick up the shirt. Uh, and his team can pick up the shirt. And our first one with Tony and her team. Thank you. It's for her. Yeah. <laughs> so our theme this month on our shirt as you can see, it's two more than expected. Um, we're talking about you, you were just talking about doing, getting business from past clients. I heard two other agents last night at my happy hour talking about spending the day calling past clients. There's gold there. Let me tell you where another place you can find gold right now. How many of you currently have clients you're working with? Come on. Hopefully everybody in this <laughs> room. You <laughs> should have a client you're working with. All right. Have you ever heard of current Client referrals. Yep. Yeah. From uh, you. Client referrals. You've got to be mining the people you're working with right now. It's like getting 100%. It's like getting what you have now and doubling it. You want to look at doubling your income. It's a way to do it. How you do it is going deeper with the people that you have and creating some wow moments to those people while you're working on their transaction, right? So, what are things that are expected? Like, if you ask me, what do you expect from a mortgage lender? You probably expect your client to get a good rate, get a good service. Those, you know, if we do those two things, are we blowing you away? You know, it's what you expect. You expect to close on time. When you're running around town, town telling realtors, we close on time. <laughs> it's not, it doesn't cut it. What extra are you doing? So I don't tell you what we're, what we do, but I'm going to give you a system that you can do because I feel like you should be doing it. Okay. So, there is a system that we use. Number one, I'm the only lender in town that has a client concierge. So Allison, what for a second? <laughs> I didn't ask her to talk because your time. She's been waiting for this moment. Was, I can tell. Oh, I'm on but, the yeah. and, <laughs> and I, We have a client concierge, which means every client we work with has a person to literally hold their hand until the time they close. She is not a processor. She doesn't do that. She doesn't really even collect conditions. But like last night, really even happy hour. Like, we'll see you tomorrow. We got stuff planned tonight. Yeah, I'm going to meet a client at eight o'clock to pick up stuff because they were having trouble getting it on the website. Some older lady doesn't understand technology very well. So she that's what we do. Client concierge. Whatever you need, we're here. One of the cool things that she does though in the process, when I lock a loan in and contract comes in, here's what I want to share with you. She calls the client on the telephone and has a conversation, nothing loan related. So there is a form. This is from a lady that taught our workshop last month, Sasha in Charlottesville. This is her all about you form. We're gonna pass, we take one of these, pass it around. But this is what Sasha uses to get some detailed information on the clients and it helps her build deeper relationships. This helps her get current referrals from her current clients. Okay. But I want to give you a little secret. This will help your business. We did the form like this. We created a form for us to send to our clients. So if we sent 10 out, how many do you think we got back? Like one. one. <laughs> that was it. We're like, screw all of this. We're just going to have a conversation. So this is what role play on the spot. <laughs> Oh, like that was uh, this, this is what this is what I'll, I want you to hear just a little bit. We're not go through the whole thing. But I just want you to hear this is what you or someone on your team can do for your clients right now going through the loan process. Okay, and it's or, super, super easy. Of course, I like to talk. I need to do more listening. Um, like Nicole said, it's all about being resourceful for us. 
It's listening to what our clients say, getting to know them better, getting to know them on a personal level. Jonathan jokes with me all the time about my, I have a tendency to have frivolous conversation. For me, no conversation is frivolous. I love it. I love to learn about the little details. I'll mostly remember them, but this is to help me keep track. I have this on the computer because it's faster for me to talk on my phone and to type things in and to actually have a conversation with them. Because I like to know the little things. The little things give me joy. That's how I make connections with people. What's your conversation to lead into that, to get that information? So my conversation is super easy. I call, I introduce myself. Hey, and this is Ellison. I'm your client concierge with Jonathan's team at Alcova Mortgage. Do you have just a few minutes, maybe five to seven minutes? Uh, we would like to get to know you better. I just want to ask you some really simple questions and us to have a little chit chat. And I want to let you know that I'm here for you. I'll let them know I'm here for them right out of the gate because that kind of gets them, gets them, yeah, in the conversation. Pause. You know what that does for me? You look great. Well, yeah. <laughs> Think of all the time that just saved me for the next 30 to 45 days until they close. Now, I'll, I'm willing to talk to a client any, any, any time, but, you know, all the interruptions you get sometimes with clients, and if you've got a team that can do that, now I can focus still more on prospecting. Right. Right. So on this form, it has general information at the top. Well, guess what? Before I even make that phone call to them, I already looked at their loan application. So this information at the top, like their name, email, spouse, spouse's birthday, their birthday, that's already on the loan application. So I've already reviewed that. I've also already reviewed, so I don't sound like an idiot, where they work, like their employment, because I'll ask them a couple of like throwing questions about that. So I'm trying to get them to know that I am interested in them. And I've done a little bit of homework before I've even made the call. So, um, so anyway, on the, the first part on the All About You form, it's just the general information. We always like to ask wedding anniversaries. So if you want to role play a little bit, like ring, ring. <laughs> um, hi, Mr. Sweat. This is Ellison from Alcova Mortgage. I'm actually on CJ Sweat's team. And I wanted to call and introduce myself to you today. I'm actually your client concierge, and I'm going to be taking care of you from here on out to your closing. Mm -hmm. And I would love to talk to you a little bit today, uh, get to know you a little bit better. It could give me about five minutes, or we can schedule another time. Um, I'll be happy to call you back. But do you have just a few minutes? Okay. Well, I, I've looked in your file. I've looked at your loan application. I'm getting to know you better. This is for our team to build a lasting relationship with you because you're that important to us. Um, I noticed here that you're married. Um, when I hate to put you on the spot, uh, but when is your wedding anniversary? December 16th. December 16th. Well, that you guys must have had a lovely Christmas wedding. That is awesome. Well, so I'm assuming you use red poinsettias for decorations and things like that. That is fabulous. Um, so what year did you get married? Uh, 88. 1988. Well, well, 1988. <laughs> well, um, well, it seems like you've been married for a long, long time now. Do you and your wife have any children? We do. We have five. Okay. Wow. I see um, actually on the loan application that you do have some dependents. And what are their ages? Can I ask? Uh, 34 to 13. Wow, you are a busy, busy man. Mm -hmm. so, I used to be a busy, busy man. <laughs> well, in between all that busyness, do you and your wife have any time for um, relaxation? What kind of relaxation things do you like to do? Uh, or hobbies, mm -hmm. uh, like outdoor, indoor, movies? Yeah. What kind of things do you guys like to do when you relax? Yeah, love your camping. Awesome. Start watching. Or what? Watching. All right, so we'll stop there. I know you guys have time. You see how this is so much different than just saying what's your social birthday? Yeah, so this is building a relationship. So when we get to know that they like camping, they have five kids, are they people lovers or animal lovers or both? You know, all these different little things. Now, when they refer something, and you see like questions on weirds, like what's your favorite? Candy treats, favorite beverages, one of my favorite stores. Instead of just saying that, sending a thank you card, this Starbucks gift card, and they may not be coffee lovers. Maybe they like TJ Maxx, whatever. 
Now we're sending something personal to them. Make sense? We're working on building current client referrals. Now, Personality. If you send us your client, we're doing this for you. And after we do it, guess what she's going to do? And we'll she, send it to you. She's emailing this to you so you know more about the people that you're working with. But whether you're using us or not, I would really encourage you to do this and create the more leads. Okay? And it helps you get a better relationship. That's awesome. All right, Thank you, Thank you guys. <laughs> All right, now we have our attorney moment. This is uh, Mary. Mary Ruth from Pipe Title. Sorry, I don't know why I went blank for a second. I know you. Uh, she is, I would say, Aaron's right hand. He's used that term with you, uh, or with me yeah. anyway. All right, you go right ahead. Yeah, um, just so you all know, I brought you some cookies. Life is uncertain. Eat dessert before <laughs> lunch. You never know what's going to happen during lunch. So that's my, my uncle's favorite saying, so. Um, how many of y'all have ever done a closing where you had heirs involved? List of heirs, decedents, all of that. Well, Nicole said, talk on whatever you want to. So this is our office talk for the past two weeks. So I'm going to share it with you all. Things that a real estate agent can do, especially if you're the listing agent on the property, set down. And I love that it's... Um, um, do more than expected and communication and all of that because really you need to sit down with your seller and say hey let's have a talk is it a pleasant talk not not always because you don't know when the person passed away you don't know what happened circumstances things like that but it is good to sit down and understand exactly how they think they own the property um it could have been will to them um question for okay well you know dad let's say dad died dad had a will <clears throat> have you gone to the courthouse the circuit court clerk's office and had that will probated well no i didn't know i needed to do that okay you need to walk them through the steps of getting this will probated if there's an executor named in that will you know same thing what if you don't have a will what do they do? They said, well, you know, we're next in line. Okay, well, let's go to the courthouse. Let's get this all straight. <clears throat> this is why you're getting the listing ready and everything so that you know exactly what is going on. But do ask questions. We had a particular situation that happened a week and a half ago. Um, these people decided they didn't want to use a filter, which is fine. You know, whatever they do. No, it's not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you know, they, they studied the law, they looked up codes, you know, everybody can look at the code of Virginia and everything. Well, what happened was in this situation is there was this brother, let's call him Bill. Bill died. Bill was married. Bill had no children. So what's the list of heirs? How does this property, where does this property go? Bill had a brother. His wife is deceased too. Got oh. to be that. Bill had a brother. So they're thinking, okay, succession is, is Bill, when he passes away, it goes to mom and dad. If mom and dad are deceased, it goes to brother. In the conversation, <clears throat> one particular detail was left out. Um, what did I call the other brother? This Bill, this John. What was it, John? Okay. <laughs> um, John says, um, you know, do you have any brothers and sisters? Well, yeah, you know, I've got my mom remarried. I've got half sisters here, 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 here. What about that? He's dead. Oh, did he happen to mention that mom and dad divorced when he was three years old? Dad moved to California. So we're sitting there as a settlement company going, Let's look at this a little bit closer, you know, find a grave, uh, all the obituaries, everything you can think of. The conversation came down to Paul, <clears throat> excuse me, and we said, Paul, you have some half brothers and sisters. Yeah, Paul didn't even realize, you know, and what are the odds? Okay, well, he was three years old. He had no connection with his dad, but it's still by law, that money has to go to dad's children as well because Bill's half brother to those. Oh my goodness, I yeah. would have never thought that. Yeah, and yeah. with all of that happening, we don't know these people, we can't 
contact these people. The only way we found out the names, and it only had one son, Eric, and a younger sister, was listed in a newspaper article for an Eagle Scout Award. So, with that being said, we said <clears throat> to the sellers who didn't have anybody to present them, <laughs> um, I'm real sorry, but we cannot close this right now. We're going to have to do, um, and this is where the space comes in, <laughs> send him to the law office, and we said, we're going to have to do a suit to quiet title. We're going to have to send you to the law office. Now, I'm not a lawyer, so I don't give any advice out, but Aaron, in turn, had to take the case over. Something that was close, supposed to close next week, or the week after the conversation, is now closing eight weeks out. So it is very, very important <clears throat> to have those hard conversations with people. Get the family tree. Take out a piece of paper and say, okay, let's write it all down and make sure we've got everybody that we need. That's a good idea. Yeah, because um, if you don't, then you might miss something. Now, granted, will it catch on a title policy? I mean, a title search? In this case, it did not. Because this person said, you know, Mom died here, my brothers and sisters, and I spoke up and said, where's that? Yeah. I would also like to add if they are incapacitated or mentally not capable, you need something from them. Yes, you have to go to the court and get um, guardian and litem appointed um, on behalf of the individual in this process. And, and that's where process. Aaron comes in. Is that like a six-month process? Um, it varies or really. Longer. Yeah, <laughs> it varies really depending on like our situation in this one. We were very lucky. We were able to get everything. The law office was able to get everything done. They had to call the court. The court hearing is October 25th. So it depends on the court system too. You know, judge decides I'm going on a month vacation. There's nobody standing in. You got to wait that month. So the things that you learn up front are way more important than, than you realize. And it is wonderful to share them, especially with your settlement agents. Pie title. That's who y'all need to be here. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> oh, awesome. yeah. thank you. Thank you. Share the information with everyone so that they are fully aware that this is going to be a process or, you know, this situation is going to cause us to have to get an attorney. The plus side of using pie title is we are attorney owned and operated. What I did in that situation. Oh, Aaron picked up the phone and said, hey, I've got a situation. Now, did the sellers have to hire Aaron to do the work? Yes, they did. But it was a pretty quick thing. It wasn't, oh, well, we'll make an appointment for you and see you in three weeks. Um, because we were doing the closing. He pushed it all through so that we could get everything like it needed to be. So do your homework. Sit down. Know your client. Because all of this information is very vital and very important. And, you know, yeah, was the buyer upset? Oh, yes, they were ready to move in. You know, it was like two, three days after that they were supposed to move in. <laughs> but the good thing is, is they understood and they knew high title was looking out for their best interest to make sure that they had a clear title to this property. So, and that's something that title insurance will not cover because we knew about it. So we have to put an exception in the title policy. So anybody got any questions for me? I've been doing this for 21 years. Um, <clears throat> I've left some cards on the back table. If you ever have a question, I mean, even if we're not closing it and you have something that you're like, mm, I'm not 100% sure about, who can I call? Call me. If I can't tell you the answer, I will try my best to find the answer for you. Because as I say in real estate, some of this stuff you cannot make up. <laughs> it just really not the truth. Yeah. yeah. Thank y'all so much. Thank, Thank you. you. All right. Tina yeah. Flowers. Well, actually, it's Carnell now. Did I pronounce that right, Madison? It's Carnell. Yeah. It's it's okay. weird. Between her last name, Achosa, it's pronounced Achosa, not Achusa, and then my last name being Podish, even though it looks like Podish, it's all word jamble, I promise to everybody. <laughs> um, she had to step out for a minute for a phone call, but I'm actually her daughter. We, um, She just brought me on in February to form the first ever mother-daughter team for Achosa. So I want you guys to see my face and get comfortable with talking with me as well, or reaching out with questions if you can't get a hold of her. Um, 
I always joke that I'll become your favorite at some point, so it's okay. <laughs> um, so if you haven't used this before, we're non-traditional. You get to choose your own contractor. It's really been a game changer. Um, this summer, we really had no hiccups with the claims process because it was all in control of the client and the contractor getting things done. Um, you really want to think of us as more as a third party payer. Um, but yeah, if you haven't tried us, I highly encourage it. That's really the only thing we're up against right now is just beating the traditional thing that people have always done. Any questions? Hey, Madison, in a nutshell, a client calls you, they want to make a claim. What's the quick process and how that works? So they don't call me or Tina, technically. They're going to call our 888 number, which we have a 10-second hold time, so they're not going to be waiting long. They're going to explain to our customer service line what broke, when they noticed it was broken, how it was working before, very basic questions. They're going to get the thumbs up to get their own contractor that they know, like, and trust. If they don't have one that they know they want to use, um, our customer service network can look up top rated contractors in their area and give them three choices. They get that contractor scheduled on their time. Once the contractor is back in the home, we just get the diagnosis over the phone on speakerphone with the client and the contractor. Um, we always want to think clear transparency through this whole process. So your client's never going to feel like anything's going on behind their back because that's the contractor's working for your client at this point, or that's how our model works. Um, once we have the diagnosis, the claim is either approved or denied right there on the spot. We give them the go-ahead for the work if it is approved, and once the work is completed, we pay them over the phone with a credit card, their retail rate. It's super simple. I know it sounds like a lot when you talk about it out loud, but it's really simple, I promise. Um, I'm telling you, I've had claims completed in a matter of hours because of it. It's been really a game changer for us. Awesome. Awesome. Thank you. You're welcome. Anybody else have a question? All right. Thank you so much. Uh, provided lunch today also afterwards. So I will be bringing that in shortly. <laughs> Wonderful. Thank you. All right. Our September birthdays. We have Royal Rogers, Mike Dessler, Greg Justice, Davey Spangler, Brenda Belcher, Logan Valderrama, Jeremy Lorton, Greg Alexander, and Shanita Dillard. Happy birthday, everybody. That's your cake the dog's eating. <laughs> <laughs> and then some September work anniversaries. Tony Lowe, Alondra Ramirez, Rob Thacker, Mac Westland, and Rose Wright. Awesome. What's your anniversary here, Pat? Uh, 18. 20, no, no, no. 18. How many years? I'm sorry. I've been here. Four and a half. Four and a half. Four and a half, so, well. If it was this month, it would be either four Honey, or five. That's, yeah, that's, <laughs> that doesn't work. You came so in September first, 2018. Yeah, this has got to be fifth then, yeah. yeah. Okay, yeah, that would be All right, five years. And welcome newcomers. So we are welcoming a lot of new. Faces. We have Sydney Miller, Felicia Hirschfeld, Ruth Champagne, Jen Bowker, and Ben Wilborn, who is in the back. Yep. Welcome. Welcome. And our home runs. I do want to point out that not everybody gets announced on these. I found out that they go to the Rainmaker, like the team lead, and not every individual. And I don't know how to figure that out yet. Okay. So I promise... Congratulations to all of you as well that still have them. But it's Amy Williams, Eric Gillier, Frank Cle Craiglow, Freeman Hughes, Katie Cookston, Ken Thacker, Linda Freeman, Mac Westland, Mike Belcher, Mystica Bay, Monica Nicely, Norm Poland, Rachel Camilleri, Sharon Robertson, Sherry Long, and Tanya Bredemus. A listing contract and a closing in one month. Yep. And we have some Cappers, Todd Maxey, Dana, and Davey Spangler, Shane Pazzino, Frank Craiglow, Mary Stewart, and Amy Williams. Amy tapped in like less than a month. Don't know how she did it. She's like, awesome. Hours. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and Jenna Johnson, who is with Tony's team, got her first Oh, um, our October calendar. So we have 
some awesome classes coming in. And I say that every month. Um, I want to do better with telling you all why it's valuable to you because you don't need to be wasting your time coming into something that's not valuable. Um, so Christian has helped me with this. I'm sure she would love to explain some of her classes. <laughs> <laughs> um, but we do have our normal contract classes. It's good to be educated about those so you don't mess up because if it is, if there's a problem on the contract, you can't move forward with the closing. Um, we have Alcova doing some classes, which is awesome. He always and happy hour. Yep, and happy hours. That's a great way to build a connection with Jonathan. Um, and also October is a realtor defense. What's the word? Safety. Safety. What is it? Safety. safety realtor, month, realtor safety, safety month. month. So we are having a defense class. Come in. A sheriff is going to be coming in on the 12th in our market center to show you and tell you about different ways where you all can stay safe because we don't know going into that showing or going into an open house you don't know who's going to come in that door so it's really good to be educated about that to protect yourself so you don't get hurt you know who's doing that class uh i don't have a name yet do you have a name now okay go ahead it is okay i'll chuck nice um i believe her first name was I can't remember if it was Jessica or Jesse, but the last name of Christiani. Um, she is, is who organizes all of those things, and I was under the impression she will be him. Yeah. Do you want to talk about any of your classes coming up? We have How to Crush a Buyer Consultation, Running a CMA. I don't want to be on the Zoom link. So I'm staring at <laughs> um, So, the How to Crush a Buyer Consultation. Um, I'm going to just kind of go over um, the packet you should have put together. Command has one for you. You can edit it, beef it up, change the colors, whatever you want to do. I want to talk about that a little bit. Um, and then, you know, the things that I think are, are good to have in there, um, how I set up fire consultations, um, questions to ask, and just um, kind of things that I do afterwards to, to be a little bit more impressive. Um, so we'll just kind of go over a bunch of things I feel like to win you that buyer so that once you end that Zoom call, like they're ready to, to shop with you. They're not talking to you. <laughs> um, and then how to run a CMA. I, I just, I had a couple of, of um, agents not know how to do that. And I remember when I first got started, it was, I didn't know how to do it. And I'd forgotten how intimidating that kind of was. And I just wanted to make sure that, that I offered something to, to cover that because there's a lot to it. <laughs> and I want to say, even if you've gone to a CMA class before, it's always good. It's, it's great to get other perspective, right? So if Tony's doing one, go to Tony's. If Christian's doing one, go to Christian. Mac, go to Max because you want different perspective, right? Mm -hmm. um, and then we also have a time blocking class. Who's Talk. time blocking in here? Okay, well, more than I thought. You didn't yeah. time blocking well. Oh, okay. <laughs> time blocking. Who used their time blocking? <laughs> <laughs> my amazing director of operations for my team, Bree Ruth, is going to be teaching that. She's super excited for it. So would love to see you all attend that. If you're currently doing it or have never done it, come to the class. All right. And now we have some coming soon listings, one with Mac Westland. Uh, so we want to kind of start sharing these so that way they are on your radar and maybe you know someone off the top of your head like, oh, that might be really great for them. Um, so I love that, soon. I love that. This, was this was actually going to go live this evening at about 5.30. Wow. And it's literally incredible. It's got all new paint ceiling and top all the floors refinished all brand new windows every window is brand new yeah. um How's i mean pitch? it's <laughs> phenomenal hey, look, blue like, cabinets get me on your schedule. Let's that go. beautiful gray blue cabinet with the all new countertops all new light fixtures and they're willing to let all the furniture go at the house you can negotiate that as well if they're trying to travel like if it's family related they gotta go back i sold this home in the spring now i'm selling it again so very awesome. It's very well right now. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's only two minutes from my house. I can walk to it for the open house. Open house with a lunch Open house Saturday. And if your pockets are real deep, just 
do an Airbnb, a short term or oh, medium it's, term. It's incredible. It's got the furniture. Double lot, <laughs> double lot, two driveways. That's amazing. That's for two more five. <laughs> All right. Um, and then just listed within the past 30 days from, and this is just from you all. So we've got quite a few. Yes. Um, so Eric has one in Heathsville. Um, Deidre has one in Wurtz. And then Penhook, Jennifer Snare. We have some new faces on here also. Wow. You guys don't see their names around much. So I'm glad that they... Jennifer is a full-time teacher. Yes. Um, Davey has one in Roanoke. Tony, another one in Roanoke. Mac, another one in Vinton. That's a great little house. Um, I'm not going to, you guys can see it. Commercial but... spot, Mac has, a uh, think in Beth. Bond sack, and uh, if somebody's got a buyer for Bond sack. $127,000 a year rent is what they get in this stuff. $20. That'd be a great investment. Is the family dollar going to still be there? No, you're buying a building in the land. That's it. But eight years left on the lease for family dollar. Oh, okay. And a house in Benton with Frazier. Wow. What about mine? Don't skip over your hubby. I did. I said. <laughs> <laughs> all right. That's all of them? It's obviously. That's oh, there we go. There it is. <laughs> Here's another page. Your birthday. Wait, did I His skip over birthday in no. August. This is just less than 30 days, and if they've not Please sold, right? right no. We remove them if they're sold. So, Mount Pleasant for Gavin, Old Stevens Road for Mike, uh, Timber Ridge, Benton for Frazier. Is that under contract yet, Frazier? You just listed it this past yeah, weekend. All right, so let's bring some buyers to these houses. Okay, top producing solo agent. First place, Shanita. Second place, Monica, Misty, Alicia, and Rachel. And then third place, there were seven of y'all that completed one unit. So great job. And these are people solo. Great job, guys. That's closed units. So closed volume. First place, Rachel. Second place, Shanita. And third place, Monica. Uh, GCI, Rachel, Monica, and Linda Freeman. Units, we have. Amy, where's Norm? Send him a picture of that. <laughs> 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 Fraser just left. He'll be so disappointed. Yeah. Close volume, oh, Amy. This one is the jam. <laughs> Norm Poland in second, and Kim and Rob Packer um, at number three. Right and for GCI, Amy, Norm, and Kevin Rob Decker. All right. Top producing team members. So these are people that are on a team. Closed units. We have Tanya Hodges. Right Where did Hodges come from? Tanya Bredovich. Yeah. yeah I, don't know which, I don't even know a Hodges. No, Tanya I don't Hodges. either. Okay. We'll get that fixed. Sorry about that, Tanya. Uh, Carrie Kendrick and Mary Stewart, second place. And third place, Deborah, which is Tanya's mom, is on ABC. You missed your slide, Frazier. Okay. <laughs> so you went to the bathroom? <laughs> sure. Is there a payphone in there? <laughs> That's a secret stall. You don't know about that one. <laughs> we'll go back and get you these pictures. All right, close volume. Mary Stewart, Tanya. There's Tanya's name spelled right. And Kim. is this for the last month? How did you yeah, okay. it's all of August. All of August. Yeah, we always we okay. always celebrate the previous month at the team meetings. All right, GCI, Mary Stewart, Hillary Baber, and Tanya Bradamus. We're coaching students right now. We have 22 listings under contract. That I know of. <laughs> No, it's true. <laughs> it's true. 22. Great job, Katie. Nice. For, for front There's many people. And remember, it's not just new agents. We have agents. Tanya's a uh, producer, right? And she's in Katie's coaching. So it's for everyone. So if you're looking for coaching, talk to Katie. All right. I'm going to let... You want to do this slide, Matt? Well, it's the first I've seen the slide, but it looks really good. <laughs> Matt's like, yeah, it's fun. 
Wow. So Come from on, last buddy. year to this year, closed mm -hmm. units, that's incredible. Consider how rates have gone up and all the doom and gloom we hear in the news. Closed volume, of course, that correlates with the, the closed units. Listings taken, that's a big one. Big one. Yeah. Uh, it's almost double there. Um, listings job. sold. Contracts written. Incredible. Contracts written volume. Closed GCI. So these are some great numbers considering what we hear on social media about the, the industry and what's going on. I mean, doing really well. Cases our sales are down like a lot of people's are from compared to last year, but we're still crushing the local market. We really are. So congrats on all that. That's awesome. Most of our competitors are down 20 and 30% and we're up. Yep. Sure. Are. Awesome. We're, we're a winner. We're here. Winners at KW Roanoke. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's great. Oh, look, it's your time to shine. All right. <laughs> All right. Hey, I just want to tell everybody the contracts when they come in for compliance have, have been looking really well. People are submitting them in time for the most part, a few days here and there. Uh, some of that's technology issues. Some of it's new admins coming in, trying to figure things out. Uh, I want to hit on one thing that seems to be probably 80% of my phone calls with the repair addendum. When we... And a lot of them are, are our clients on the buy side. They get this inspection back and they're wanting you to put things on this repair addendum or they're wanting to walk because the roof is old, the HVAC's old, but those items are working and they're not, you know, nothing's wrong with them. And our clients are wanting to walk away from the deals and you're calling me, what do I tell my clients? And you tell them to read the paragraph on the repair addendum. The first paragraph on the items beyond their life that are still operational you cannot put those on the repair oh no, you can don't get me wrong you can put them on there they don't belong on the repair deal. so setting buyer expectations we it's up front about homes the biggest issue that comes up that causes anxiety in the transaction is the home is it's a lot of caused a lot of stress for our clients what I would suggest you do, fire agreement, bring that repair addendum with you and just say, hey, because you're going to, you're setting expectations. You're talking about the process. When we get to the inspection process, just to let you know, the pages, inspection is going to be 30, 40 pages long because of the formatting and a lot of photos. It's going to be overwhelming. Just keep in mind when we ask for repairs, look at this paragraph on this document we have to use. These are things that we cannot ask them to do and even if you put it on there and the other agent crosses it off if you put a roof on there that's because it's old but it's working you put it on there and you and crosses it off well that doesn't mean if you don't agree with it, it doesn't mean you can walk away because it shouldn't have been on the document the only way you could walk away in that repair addendum if you cannot come to a, a negotiation you have a negotiation period right and it says that both parties can't come into agree on the items to be repaired then there can be a termination within two days after two business days after come on there that doesn't belong on buying that house because it should have never been on that repair addendum period the tell your clients we can't ask yeah my Secondly, I learned something new in that. So I, had, I was in touch with three roofers that went in touch with um, uh, the buyer's agent. Uh, had had two other roofers that got dragged out almost two weeks. I was like, Mac, we we almost we can't even figure out what to do. Come up with a quote. He goes, Well, if you all can't agree, then everybody can walk away. We finally figured out, but I did not realize that. Yeah, we could find we could get quote on it. It was a special roof. But he would quote him on it. I had no idea that he oh walked away. So in his in his situation <laughs> as the listing agent, the roof had some minor leaks in it. So there's a material defect, right? So, so. However, nobody would quote the roof. Both sides were trying to get roofers out there. Nobody could do it. What was the roof made of? Stuff. Uh, it, it's like rubber. And 
even me who put the roof on came out and said, we're not, we, we can't fix these little leaks without having them removed. We're just not going to get, they wouldn't even get a quote on it. When in that situation, negotiations couldn't happen, not from a repair perspective. So the only thing that could happen is, hey, well, let's just talk about a, a dollar. Let's do a price reduction. Let's work it out that way and then cross that. And that's what they, they dropped the price a little bit and everybody just Yeah. Well, my suggestion would be if you have something that you're kind of questioning, should I put this on here? My client wants it, but I don't know. I'll call Matt yeah. and just say, hey, this is what's going on. This is what they want fixed. Should I put it on here? So get ahead of it instead of behind it, too. Yeah. But uh, it, yeah, definitely get ahead of it because we get to that point. It's it's hard. They just don't, you know, get, they get worried about it and they want everything on this document. Yep. Okay, <laughs> so this is one of Norm's slides. I looked at it for about seven and a half seconds a little bit ago. Uh, so this goes back to the other slide we had prior to mine at the market center. So in RVA, RVAR, this is the number of agents in, in the RVAR in the month of August. Keller Williams, we had only had 75? Yeah, in RVAR. Yeah. Uh, okay, no, RVAR, no, gotcha. Every we have some in Henry County and some other places, right? So in RVA, we also make up 12, a little over 12% of the number of units active pending and closed in August. Think about that. 4% of the agents are Keller Williams. Triple. We're doing more than 12% of the transactions or at least of the active pending and closing in August. That's incredible. It goes back also to the slide of being a technology company and the training we have. All of those things and to achieving these numbers and hard work, of course, and dedication. So that is important. It's important. Go back to her training slide that this number wouldn't be here if we weren't providing those resources. If the cap that you pay into wasn't providing all of these resources that you have and keeping lights on so you can operate your business at high levels. Very important. And that was just year to date. Yeah. So same slide, year to date, we're still 10%, over 10%. Uh, I, I just, that's just a great number. That is an incredible number. Yeah. Considering job, we make up 4% on the market. Um, and we continue to grow these numbers all the time with new agents to the market center and or training that we provide and productivity coaching. You saw those. That's a big part of uh, this also. This tells us that we have market share. We're over that. It's great. We're, we're getting more market share. Yeah. And you see how the average for the whole year is 10. But we're at 12 for August. That means we're gaining more market share. Mm -hmm. Oh, can I add, to go back to the broker minute again, I meant to add. Uh, mentioned something else. Sorry. Uh, so I do contract classes. It's one to three. It's three times a month or four times a month, whatever's on the calendar. Um, Six two. hours worth. Yeah. Two. <laughs> whatever it is. Seems so like a lot. I, initially, I was doing them during the work day, and we were getting some some feedback saying, "Hey, can you do it after hours? We get more participation." I actually got less participation doing it after hours. So now we're going back doing it during the day. We, my average person showing, average people showing up to include Zoom is three. It's but I'm higher. receiving so many phone calls about contracts. Yet I actually had one agent say they called me afterwards. They didn't show up for the one to three, but they called me at three thirty. I spoke on the phone how to fill out a buyer agreement. An hour, and I said, I just went over this at two hours. Well, I can't make it. And I said, Well, you, you've got, you is this your business or is this not your business? We have dual career people. I get it. But at some point, you if you want this to be your life and build your wealth, you've got to put in to get out. Like, you've got to go to these family reunions. You've got to do bold. You've got to put in. Um, but I can't dedicate my hours from five to seven at night from my family for two people to show up who have or who are always constantly and the way I, I do it, when I started doing these contract classes, 
I go around the room. What are you having a challenge with, yeah. with contracts? Because the other thing was, well, you're going over things I've already heard. Okay. Well, now I'm going to go over what you want in class. So we'll go over that document you need. So come to the classes, make it worth everybody's while that's being there. It's please. a good time to mastermind around the contract too. Yeah. And we talk about deals that are going on. Will they record it? Yeah, yes. uh, yeah, they're they're being recorded. Sometimes we just a contract, but there are questions on how to view. With certain aspects of things, we just talk through it all, so it, it's it's worth being there. You don't have. To. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. You're Alrighty, now we have a tech moment. Market Center Tech. I don't know who that is. <laughs> so this this is something that we're really struggling struggling with as an office. So our commission requests are coming in wrong a lot of the times. And have someone trying to pay your paycheck and your commission request doesn't match up to what the commission comes in as, or you forgot to put somebody on there, or you forgot to pay out a referral. You know, that's really important, right? We want to make sure everybody's getting paid and, and request is kind of all over the board right now. So what we thought mm -hmm. is let's bring a training, a quick, what is this? Four minutes. minutes yeah. Uh, training. So if anybody has questions on it, um, hopefully this will clear it up, clear it up. Excuse me. So I think I did it. Hopefully it worked. <laughs> and I'm just here. So. <laughs> Obviously it wasn't without that. Okay. So you go to your home and you go under opportunities. Now you go to the opportunity, which can be found on the three little dots in view details and commissions uh, there offers and commissions and this is where it begins you put in your offer you can name it whatever you want and then the offer date and then the close date I know this part is pretty simple property address and then who the buyers it who the buyer is and who the seller is and do that but it's not required the red asterisk if there's no red asterisk it's not required and then that's the agent's name <laughs> All right. This is how much they didn't care. put anything in the sales price. It puts it in automatically. So make sure your math's right. <laughs> All right. And that's just if you want to put it. To reject it. If it's rejected, you add a new offer. But if you accept it, your managed commission. So you see it's three percent. If any of that, you change the percentage. Three. This is the agent breakdown. So you have one what your commission would be, all of your deductions, but and then you can change those as well. So if you want to go in. You want to start saving money for family reunion or bold. You can take it out of your commission so it's not an out-of-pocket cost. Same with donating to KW Cares and KW Kids Can. However, now you need to do like a reductions for a TC or a career code. There's so many different options for that. So deduction, for instance, would be career coaching um, or a transaction. TC. Yeah, or your TC, um, and you put how much it is, where it's going to, um, and then you have the option of inside or outside referral. Inside is going to be someone within market center. Outside is going to be somewhere outside of the market center, and like uh, city or wherever. Um, here. You put how much so up city for instance and it's like 25 or 30 depending on the price 
And then at the end, I didn't want to save it because this isn't a real interest of test opportunity and I didn't want to affect Christian's numbers. <laughs> And then Op City is automatically in there. And as you can see, like Zill, for instance, wasn't. So you'd have to put in all their information. Perfect. And then at the end, it will show the new commission of what you should expect to see. Don't forget to put in the referrals and deductions, please. <laughs> it's very important. Yeah, it really delays your check too. If it you does. Have to go back and fix it, it delays you getting paid. And that's the last thing we want. And I've even had instances where someone had to come in and give me a check because they forgot to put the referral in there. And that's, that's all right. That concludes. Sweet. Thank y'all so much for coming. We appreciate y'all. We're going to do ALC meeting now.